All right, guys, I got the nesting box done. Got the shingles put on it, the trim, the door. Let me show you what inside and what I did here. Let me bring you in for a closer look. All right, so I got the shingles put in. Um, it was suggested to me in a comment, and that was my original idea also, is to put uh, flashing here. I was concerned about water coming down here and into the uh, inside of the coop. Uh, but I went and bought some of that wet patch uh, roofing caulk and the caulk gun. And you know what? It worked really, really good. I'm really uh, impressed with this stuff. It's, it's rubberized too, so it's nice. It won't uh, shrink up and crack. So I did that all the way down. And, um, you know, after a good rain, I'll go in there and I'll check. And if it's leaking, well, then I'll put some flashing down you know along there all right so the nesting boxes I showed you how I got those all tight and locked in there um, I put these here uh, these were uh, one by four trim and what I did is I ripped them to three inches in height put them in here that's to keep the you know the straw hay or, or sawdust whatever I put in there from falling down in here uh, this side I had to bring it in a half inch because of this chain here. If you see the chain, it falls right in between there perfectly, right in here. So I did that all the way down to keep the junk from falling down here because if it falls here and I try closing the door, it'll get wedged or crushed in here and the door won't shut well. Okay, and then the locks, see if I can do this one handed here, locks are just very simple locks. So the next thing I have to do is the actual windows. Um, I bought some plexiglass, I'm going to frame them and, and, and mount them. So I'm going to do that next. All right, so I just got done cutting the frames for the windows on the miter saw there. Uh, got my 45s in. I got my two sides. And I got the top pieces. Now what I'm gonna do, my plexiglass is gonna go in here. So I'll, with my table saw, I'm gonna cut a groove in here on each piece where the uh, plexiglass is gonna go. Um, and then I'm going to glue and uh, nail it together. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm just going by what makes sense. So we'll see how it works out. All right, guys, I'm on my table saw. I figured out the groove for the plastic frame. What I did is figured out the inside dimension here. Uh, the plexiglass is one foot wide minus this divided by two and it come out to like 530 seconds which isn't much uh, I went just a tad deeper I'm gonna go so I got my uh, my my uh, square here and I brought it out just over a hundred and fifty thousandths so I think I, I put a depth gauge on here it was like hundred and seventy five thousandths uh, 530 seconds is uh, 156 thousandths, uh, so I went 175, just a tad more. And I went over here like this. Oop, I'm sorry. I went here like this and I raised, made sure the tooth is right in the middle. And I raised it, the blade, just until I felt it. There we go. There. So I know my blade is at least 175 thousandths up off the uh, the table. And now we're going to adjust our railing here to be exactly center in this. And we're going to rip a groove through there. Okay?
that's what it should look like. So just to show you, where are we here? That it's going to fit right in there, perfectly. All right, so once you cut your groove, you have to make sure, it's not going to be perfectly in the middle, so it's going to mess you up when you start putting your frame together. So what you want to do is figure out what side. So this is the side I just cut. So I just want to make a little mark on this side here, a little check mark, anything. That's going to show that this is the side that went up against the rail. So when I put this thing together, all those marks have to be in, you know, on one side. All right. Otherwise, if you put, if you kind of mix them up, that line in the middle, if it's not perfectly center, it's going to be off when you put these two together. All right, guys. So what I did is I scribed the line here, and I'm going to cut this on the uh, table saw. Let's see how that looks. I have some wood glue here. I don't know how good it's going to work on the glass, but we'll give it a try. All right, I took the film off. So let's get this glass in there. Let's do this one at a time. All right, once you have your uh, frame glued and you're ready to nail it, I would put two nails here. Let me uh, line it up there and I'll show you. So I put two nails here and here. Now on the other side, I'm gonna put one here and here. So two are gonna be like this, and two are gonna be like this. That way the frame doesn't come apart. You wanna make sure your corners are right there. Now, I put two going vertically, or I'm sorry, uh, one at the bottom, one at the top. Now I'm going to put one in the middle here, here, and here. I'm going to put it on a slight angle. That way these two nails miss these two nails. All right, so um, I decided to put my window, to open the window this way, so it acts as an awning when it rains. What I was concerned about is water getting stuck in here, obviously. So I decided to drill right on the edge here, going all the way through, coming out here is a quarter inch, two quarter inch holes right here and here, so the water can drain. Um, that was my only concern, otherwise I was gonna put it this way but what I was worried about when we get a torrential downpour you know winds coming on an angle the rain coming in an angle it'll come into the chicken coop
to make sure they're snug. All right, just as an added precaution, I'm gonna put a little lock here. Uh, let's see. Something like this. There we go. Just so the window can't open. And in the event we have any six foot tall raccoons around here. That'll work. You never know what all this hybridization and GMOs are eating. All right, I got all the trims put in right here on the windows and right here. So it's nice because the windows will only close so far. they'll lock from the outside and then here I'm gonna put uh, hardware cloth permanently staple it on there that way the chickens don't go uh, pecking at the windows and stuff and uh, I guess critters can't come in when the windows are open all right what I did here is I put a string here on that uh, eye bolt so I would unlock the window and then here, I'd pull it open, i put a screw here, so it seems to work. Alright, so this is what I've come up with so far. I got the string, I put a little uh, bracket or whatever you want to call it up there, and uh, that'll hold it up. You know, I was thinking about putting some kind of a stick or something here, but this all this area is going to be enclosed, so it's going to be hard for me to get to it. I may put a little opening here so I can lock and unlock this uh, window here, but this is all going to be enclosed here for the run. But anyways, so for now it's cheap and easy. You just put the string uh, to hold the windows up. I put those little eyelets here, here. And I just hooked it up here with a piece of a chain that I had um, on a screw. And then the same thing here. A little eyelet there. Here. And then here I just used a little piece of chain that I had. And I cut it off and I just put it on there. So, it's starting to look more and more like a chicken coop now. All right guys, I'm gonna be cutting this video short. I know in my last video I said that I was gonna finish it up at, by this video, but uh, it didn't work out that way. I, uh, I just received the uh, chicken coop door that I ordered, and I'm gonna be doing a separate video and review for that chicken coop door. It's fully automated. It's got a solar panel. It's got a photo cell for the uh, dust to dawn for the door opening. And it also has a sensitivity adjustment for the uh, photo cell. So if you want the door to shut later when it's darker, you can set it for that. So it's very cool. Um, and I think that's about it. So the chicken coop is almost done. And like I said, I just have to put that chicken coop door in. The roost, I'm not going to really do a video on that. Uh, you'll probably be, you'll see them later in a later video. Um, but um, so I got one more video after this and it'll detail the door mostly and probably a little bit of what's going on inside all right thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and i greatly appreciate it thank you